major plans for the off-grid shed, new components and system upgrades all coming up next. Let's get started. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, as you can see from the trailer, we have some big upgrades in the off-grid shed. And I wanna show you all the planning for this, everything we have to do to move from 24 volt to 48 volt, as well as install a new inverter, which is a EG4 6000 XP. Pretty excited about getting that installed. Bought that from Signature Solar. Great firm out of Texas, and I'm super excited to be working with them. Now, before we head into the shed, we should start at the top and talk about the solar. Currently, I have two strings of solar, about 2,000 watts, and they run in parallel. And to run the EG4, I need more voltage. So I need to combine all those panels up top and run it into a single string, you know, positive, negative, positive, negative, and then go into my disconnect before running the power into the shed. In the current configuration, these solar panels come into this combiner box. Midnight solar, really high quality equipment here. What I wanna do here is move to a single string. So I'm gonna disconnect that positive bus bar right there. Install a new breaker, 300 volt, because my new string will be around 220 volts. I'll only need one breaker. Also need to upgrade this lightning arrestor. Right now, this is a 115 volt DC and AC rated device. I need to move over to 300 volts DC. But in general, I can keep this current configuration. Just remove those bus bars, new breaker. I'll also just disregard one of the solar strings as I'll just be using one string of solar panels. Now let's go ahead now and take a look at some of the components. Just about everything needs an upgrade here. Also, looking for advice, if you have any suggestions about some of these upgrades, let me know in the comments below. So it looks like I'll be taking off most of the components here on the wall. I want to start fresh with a new layout, but there are a couple things I want to keep here. I do want to keep this breaker box. I'm just going to go ahead and put in a single breaker here, uh, 300 volt rated for the new string. Things will move around to the DC side. I'm thinking about keeping it as is, maybe moving it down a little bit and installing some kind of wireway or gutter to help tie in to the new EG4 6000 XP. I think I'm gonna move my 120 volt AC power, my grid backup power uh, from this box. And I think I'm just gonna feed this load panel, obviously disconnect it from the solar equipment and just have this running in the background. So I'll have power to the shed, I'll have lights, I'll have outlets, I can heat my batteries as I'm currently doing right now. I can also work on and off on the project and not have to worry about timetable here. With the new EG4, some of these components will be replaced. For example, I won't need this class T fuse here anymore. I have fuses on the batteries too, but this will be replaced by a 200 amp breaker on the EG4. Looks like I won't need my Victron smart shot anymore. I could keep it in, but I do plan to run solar assistant off my Raspberry Pi here, but that will run off the EG4 6000 XP. I do plan on keeping the transfer switch in my setup. I use this to switch between solar and off-grid power, and at times when I need AC power. So if I'm working on the system, I can switch it up to AC power. Now we're running off the house, and now we're running off solar and batteries. So I do have to upgrade the breakers here. I'm gonna go ahead and put in 40 amp breakers so I can have the right rated breaker. This will be AC uh, between the house AC and the new inverter AC. No need to change out this lightning arrestor for midnight solar. It's AC, it's 300 volts rated, and it will work with a new system. Now for my battery rack, I will be going ahead and combining the middle and the top batteries. They're both 8S. I'll be making a single 16S battery pack with a new BMS. This new BMS is an inverter style. It's been out for about a year and it communicates directly with the inverter. This is gonna be a nice little upgrade. It also comes with a screen. This style is very similar to what you find in current server rack batteries and other large batteries that are all in one solutions. Also wanna mention that I purchased eight new cells that are 280 amp hours each and those will be combined for my bottom rack. So I'll have two banks 
of 16S cells. Just want to mention that if you're in the market for solar equipment, I highly recommend Signature Solar. Please feel free to use my affiliate links below in the video description to save $50 on your order. The links below help support my channel, including the creation of new video content. As always, your support is most appreciated. All right guys, so that's some of the upgrades I have to do in the plan to move from 24 volt to 48 volt on the DC side, as well as 120 volt to 240 volts on the AC side of the system. All right guys, so that's the plan for the off-grid shed. I wanna thank you for watching and definitely leave a comment below if you have some ideas or concerns or comments about the upgrades here. I'm looking forward to the project, taking my time and laying this out right, looking for all the possibilities for the new upgrades in the future in the off-grid shed. Thanks for watching, take care, have a great day.